welcome to this video uh it's my pleasure to bring this to you live from the forestry plantation of the department of forestry and wood technology federal university of technology akure in nigeria uh what i'll be demonstrating this morning are two folds one is how to take diameter measurement of trees secondly how to take height measurements those are the two things we want to do but in this first video we'll be looking at how to do diameter measurement of trees as uh, you have been taught in the previous video the most important diameter that we measure in forest measurement is diameter at breast height and uh, as you were also told in that video this is a standard height which is in, in North America four and a half feet that is four feet six inches that's the height the breast height level at which diameter is measured but in UK and most of Europe and Africa we use 1.3 meters so this morning we'll be measuring the diameter at 1.3 meter position that is the standard breast height used uh, they are, uh, the way to do it of course is as you can see we have quite a number of trees and so you can come to a tree here i have two tapes with me this is the linear tape and it is 15 meters as you can see it's a 15 meter tape that's a linear tape with me and here is a gut diameter tape so first we have to determine where our breast height position is on this tree and to do that ideally we take the tape and we measure out Now, 1.3 meter position is here. This is, this is 1 meter and 0.3 is right here. So, I will take it to the base of the tree. And I'll okay. mark that point. So, this point here is the breast height position. So if I'm to measure this tree now, I will measure it right at this position. This point here that I have marked, that is where I will take my diameter measurement. 1.3 meter position. Now, if I have to do that for every tree, that means as I move from tree to tree, I will use the linear tape first to determine where my breast height position is. And then I will take the diameter tape and then I'll measure the diameter. That will be very, very cumbersome if I am to do that. Moving from tree to tree. That means I'll be doing two measurements. I'll do this first and then I'll measure the diameter. Now to avoid that, what we do normally in forest measurement is simply to get a stick, a straight stick, and measure out 1.3 meter position on that stick. And so once our stick is 1.3 meter position, we just take it along with us to every tree. We place it by the side of the tree. We know where it is, and then we take our measurement. That's the usual procedure. So what we will do is to get a stick, and then we'll measure out the 1.3 meter position on this stick. So, we have this. Right from the base here. Yeah, this is the starting point, the beginning here. So we mark it out this way. We go on and on. This is one meter. We move on 1.2, 1.3. So we mark it here. So please mark here. 
this 1.3 here okay okay yeah that's it 1.3 meter position exactly so we'll cut it here so please cut it there at that exact point so now that's how we'll get our uh, breast height stick so it is that stick we use as we measure now to talk of measuring diameter at breast height we have this tape the it is called the gut diameter tape and why is it called the gut diameter tape it is because it has two different gradations this side of the tape measures gut this type here measures i mean this side here measures gut which is the circumference of the tree uh, whereas the second side of the tape measures diameter as you can see it's written there diameter in centimeters so that is what this side of the tape measures so it is called a gut diameter tape and this is what we will use to measure our diameter so we have our stick we have already measured it, it's 1.3 meter. So this is what we will use to do our measurement as we move from tree to tree. So uh, there is a tree there we will measure and uh, I want us to start with that. So this is one of the trees to be measured. So we just put our stick by its side and then we take our diameter tape and if you look at this diameter tape it starts from zero point this is the zero point here so that's the starting point of our measurement and this is a very small tree relatively so my hand can go around it so it's, it's easy to measure this so to measure this this is my starting point zero point here don't forget it has to be measured at 1.3 meter position which is the breast height position i will now move the tape around the tree now because it is a small tree as i said my hand can go around it if it's a bigger tree, it will be a little different. So I do that and I come right here. So with this, I have to ensure in going around the tree that my tape is perpendicular to the tree axis. That is, it must go perpendicularly around the tree that way as you can see so that way look at you make sure the tape is firm and that there are no climbers or any obstruction along the tape so as you can see here this is zero here this is 60 here this side that I have used is the gut side. This is the gut side. And because it is the gut side, it measures circumference, not diameter. Now this is what happens when you don't have a diameter tape and all you have with you is a linear tape, the type you use to measure distance. If you use that to measure your diameter, what you are getting is actually gut not diameter so it's circumference or gut and so this one is as you can see this is 0.6 meters 0.6 as we can see because this is graduated the red is in meters so this 0.6 here that's what we have using the gut side now let's see if you will, if we use the diameter side which is the correct side to use 
the zero point, the starting point is also here. Zero point here. That's the starting point. Again, I need to use my stick to be sure I'm at the best height position. Okay, that's the, that's the position there. So don't forget, you start at zero point. And this is the side for diameter, as you can see it's written, diameter. So very important. A common mistake people make in measurement is to use the wrong side of the tape. For example, they use the diameter, I mean the guard side, and they record it as diameter. And that's very, very wrong. So move your tape around, make sure there is no sag and make sure the tape is perpendicular to the three axes so you can show it around and you will see that it is perpendicular there must be no sag it must go perpendicular that way so we have this and then look at the reading make sure the tape is firm so we have this as zero starting point. See what you have here. This is 19 centimeters. 19 centimeters, exactly. So that is the diameter for this tree. And that is what we will record. 19 centimeters. So that is how we take measurement of diameter at breast height. But then there are different situations we encounter in the forest and we need to know what to do to handle such situations. And this is what we'll be looking at in the next video. So join me in the next video.